Kevin Herter to get it in. Everyone standing at State Farm Arena. Herter looks, plays it into Trey. Two seconds, one. Trey Slaughter. Good! With point one. And the Hawks are going to win this game. Oh, f no. A rookie Trey hits the floater on Jimmy, then hits the LeBron James Selly? Absolutely humiliating. People get cooked up all the time in the NBA and in basketball in general. It doesn't matter who you are, you play basketball long enough, it's going to happen. These are times when NBA rookies humiliate NBA superstars. For our first moment, we're gonna go back to when James Harden was on Houston and was hitting step backs like these on everybody. But a rookie Josh Okogie had something else to say about it. Harden's gotta get busy here. Great defense by Okogie. Tremendous defense by the rookie. Oh my gosh, if that's not one of the most disrespectful blocks I've ever seen, I don't know what is. For our next clip, rookie John Morant was pretty nuts. He's pretty nuts now too, but in his rookie days, he had to stop Kyrie Irving from hitting a game winner. Irving against Morant. Irving blocked by Morant. We're going to overtime. It's the moment. Oh, he does it. He see, he stays down, doesn't jump for the head fake, and then is able to use his side. And not only did Job ja block Kyrie's game winning shot, he also got them the win. Morant trying to get a long counter for the win. He got it. But our next moment tops everything so far because it was three NBA superstars versus one NBA rookie Carmelo Anthony, Paul George, and Russell Westbrook versus Donovan Mitchell. It was game 6 of the 2018 NBA playoffs, Utah was up 3-2, and Donovan humiliated all of them. Mitchell in his bag. Uh, it's that type of night! Yeah, well, Mitchell for 3! What a shot! He's on fire! Bounce like he just did, and then take it and lay it up with the left. There it is! Scoop off glass! Look easy, he, watch this move as he comes in, as he flips any time. Mitchell stepped through, tipped up, got it to go. Now look, go. Never mind the 19 points in the boards. Felton guarding Mitchell, the scoop shot good. Foul somebody. Eight seconds to go. This is they waited a long time. Donovan dropped 38 points, eliminating the three NBA legends out of the playoffs. But for our next moment, you see how LeBron just bullied him to the side? LeBron is always playing bully but. Oh my Brogdon, the young blood with the poster on Uncle Drew absolutely destroyed him. Whoa, that was a little intense, but sometimes that stuff happens. Oh my god, Brogdon really made a name for himself this game with the dunk on Kyrie, then the reverse jam on LeBron, all in the same game. Filthy. Yes, I know we're used to LeBron doing the posters, but sometimes it's cool to see it happen to him too every once in a while. Just to know that he's still human. And that's where rookie Jason Tatum comes up with this clip in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Points with 6.45 remaining. Tatum drives down and throws it down! Wow! Wait, hold up, did he just body LeBron after the dunk? So, so, so disrespectful, Jason. The way he cut through two defenders, saw Bron, and decided to rise up and finish on his head? I believe this was the day Jason Tatum knew he was a savage. And wait, wait, freeze frame. When Tatum looked at Bron, the stare Bron gave back at him, he knew at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Even afterwards, Jason Tatum jokingly said that the bum he gave LeBron afterwards was the reason they lost this series. Next rookie moment is a flashback to one of the most iconic times in the NBA, the crossover. Allen Iverson gets the chance to finally match up against his hero, MJ, and what does he do? 
he crosses him up. Watch this. Big, nice play. Very quick move. He goes to his left, his right, his left, his right, and he comes up with a jumper. What was surprising was MJ giving AI credit for the crossover. Tell me about the little guy's crossover. Very quick. He handles the ball very well. Uh, with this crossover, uh, they do allow him to you know, pick the ball up and carry it pretty high. I figured that he wanted to come back to his right hand, but you know, he keeps the ball real low. And, and uh, he's small, and, and he's certainly closer to the ground than I am. So, I mean, his quickness is, is, is unbelievable. Michael might have got sauced up, but look at that recovery, even got a hand in after all that space. And by the way, Michael finished that night with 23, Scotty with 31, and Iverson, a rookie, with 37. But the Bulls did ultimately win 108 to 104. Moving on to a more recent class of NBA rookies, it looks like Steph really tried to get rookie Lowry Markkinen to foul him on the three point line with that pump fake. But it looks like Markinen didn't take it lightly and decided to strap up. Ooh! This ain't volleyball, Lowry. Straight Spice Curry's laid up straight back into his forehead. <laughs> and the Bulls get possession. That's a good play. Many people said that he wouldn't be a good defender, but if your 7 foot guy is chasing Curry like that, you'll do fine. What makes this clip even better is that Lowry Markinen actually broke Steph Curry's record for most threes by a rookie only a couple games before this, so this was just some icing on the cake. But speaking of humiliating blocks, this next one is a little guy proving height doesn't always matter. Yao really saw Nate Robinson and thought he had the easy dunk. One of the tallest in the NBA versus one of the shortest. Yao was upset he didn't get it that time, and Brady bumps. Big. Oh, blocked by Robinson! Oh, Nate Robinson with the retention! The elevation and no regard for Yao's life as he blocks his shot out of frame and slaps his face too. <laughs> Damn, Yao was really feeling that crowd at Madison Square Garden, as you can see him bust into tears after the disappointment. Now don't get me wrong, Yao Ming did some bullying in his rookie season too. Look at the ferocity in that dunk, that isn't just any regular NBA player guarding Yao either. That's Big Ben Wallace. At a time where the Pistons were a championship team, Ben could strap up Shaq with ease, but Yao made this look way too easy as a rookie, giving Ben Wallace a poster he wouldn't forget. Now this clip is two NBA big mans going at it. A just out of prime Shaq and a rookie Bynum just entering the league get into a heated altercation. You can see Bynum over here trying to figure out where he left his defense at. But he didn't take that lightly and took it right back to Shaq. He'll remember for the rest <laughs> of his life. Yes, he will. Oh, oh, he will that. That <laughs> Went right back at him. Oh, look out. Shaquille O'Neal took a swing at Andrew Bynum. I would think this will be an ejection. Oh my god. Rookie Bynum was so hyped, grabbing the ball after the play, Bodying Shaq on the other side, whoa, whoa. But Bynum got a little too ahead of himself. He should have known that Mr. Diesel doesn't play nice. Shaq, we're on live. I know. <laughs> Shaq was pissed. Kobe had to come and give big old Shaq a hug to calm him down. But big men clashing in the past era really gets the blood boiling, doesn't it? Here's a clip of some of the NBA's most recent big men battling in the paint. On for the Bucks. Here's Hart on the push. Ball in the corner. Beautiful. And ball misses the three. And Zion takes it away from Giannis and a foul. We saw this in the summer league in preseason where <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> Williamson just vice grip. Damn. It looks like Giannis, aka the reigning MVP, just got his ball stolen at the playground by a new rookie on the block. This is a 19 year old kid. How is he this strong? It just don't make no sense. It's just so disrespectful, my God. Brooke Lopez's reaction says it all. The Greek freak was just ripped apart on a rebound by Zion rookie Williamson. Imagine what this guy's gonna do in the future if he's already doing this to Giannis. Absolutely humiliating and it looks like Zion just wants some respect on his name. And he says it's impossible to hit the ball out of both his hands. The ball. 
I'm gonna keep it as strong as I can. Like hit it, hit it, hit it. No, no, like oh, legit, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Okay. It's not coming out. <laughs> are you like, are you pretty strong? Yeah. Like hit it. Wait room, guys. Wait room. Oh, it's not, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. it's hard, huh? Well, you're not gonna have three chances. You gonna have only one chance to hit yeah. the ball, right? But he brings it down, and Zion just rips it from him. Filthy, just filthy. I guess now it's time to see a blender in action. Not a legit blender, but never mind. Just watch the clip. Up the three twice. CJ, oh, he spun dirt completely around and hit the three. That's worse than a poster. A spin around. I need a spin around. Oh no, 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 CJ. You can't disrespect the elderly like that. The commentator says it best. That's worse than a poster. Some people say that Dirk is still spinning to this day. Nah, no, no disrespect to Dirk. He still sauced up the Blazers this game, even though he's out of his prime. But still, the Blazers ended up winning this one, and Dirk, well, keeps spinning there, man. And I have to say, Eric Pascal has to be that rookie that humiliated the most NBA stars from crossing out LeBron. Pascal took LeBron inside and flipped it over him. To drawing and ones on Harden. Pitching the shutout. 30 to nothing from behind the arc. Pascal. And another one. Yes, I am. And I was not happy. To dunking on two time dunk contest champion, Zach Levine. Oh, oh. Pascal dies. Oh! oh, oh goodness. Get out of here. I did not expect that. He so, Alec sends the double team and Eric with no fear. And one. Hold up. Man, Eric Pascal is one bad guy. His potential ceiling is the roof. The ceiling is the roof. Let's make it happen. Let's keep Anyways, guys, that's the video for today. It's true. I'm back. I also got a giveaway starting in December, so hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. And as always, it's been Handles. Until next time.